So these are the default groups for the World Cup this upcoming year. But don't get too comfortable with these groups because they're all about to change. Today, we're going to be swapping nations around to create some of the most difficult groups of death you have ever seen. Let's not waste your time and get right into it. Starting with Group A, which already has a few teams that could be considered for a group of death. I think both Senegal and Netherlands, you just had one more strong country in here and it would already be a group of death. So we'll start taking the host country, Qatar. They're gone and they're going to get replaced with Spain. I like you, Ecuador, but I don't think you're good enough for a group of death. So we're going to swap you with Croatia. And check out Group A. We have now created our very first group of death. We're not going to go on to create four groups of death. So we can truly find out which nation is the best in this World Cup and see who will win it. So let's go. All right, Group B starts with England. We will keep them in. We are going to move Iran around and we are going to replace them with Germany. All right, Wales, you got a decent team, but I, I just still think we should remove you. I'm thinking we go with Belgium. I know the U.S. probably shouldn't be considered for a group of death, but I'm going to keep them in this group just to see if some miraculous way they can make it out. Okay, Group C. I'd like to keep Mexico and Argentina both in this group, meaning that we're going to have to replace Saudi Arabia. Let's go Brazil. Yo, check that out. Brazil and Argentina in the same group. And we'll keep Poland in just to see if they can survive. All right, moving on to Group D. We can definitely keep France in. Australia's got to go, and they're going to be replaced with Portugal. And I think Serbia deserves a spot in one of these groups of death that will replace Tunisia. And Group D is complete with France, Portugal, Denmark, and Serbia. The more that I'm looking at this, it just doesn't feel right to keep the USA in. I'm so biased. They do not belong in a group of death. So I'm going to replace them with a team that isn't in the World Cup. But we are going to place the USA with Italy. Don't know why I just overpronounced that. It Italy. It Italia. So there it is. We officially have four groups of death from Group A to Group D. And I'm going to organize these bottom groups like best to worst. They're not all going to be group of deaths, but we'll make a few more difficult groups. And then like two probably just insanely easy groups and there it is the world cup groups are set so now i'm gonna get to choose a team from group a from group b from group c and from group d to control as their manager but before i pick these teams to control as the manager i want to tell you guys how you can be the manager it's pretty simple you can do it through a game called top 11. what i want to talk about is this new limited time challenge called the penalty clash where you can represent your nation and take them to the top of the leaderboards within top 11. So in this new game mode, not only do you get to take over as the manager, but you are going to be put in the position to take penalties and save penalties. You'll be in control of the penalty taker and the goalkeeper. So you're getting to test yourselves from both sides of the ball as well as just being the manager. So this new limited time challenge, this new event is going to be PVP, meaning you are playing against someone real from around the world. And in case you guys weren't aware of this incredible game, Top 11, it is free to play. The link will be in the description. You can play it on your mobile device. You can play it on PC. Basically, you're taking control of an entire squad from the training to the transfers to the youth academy. You're even in control of the ground in which you play on, stadium, training ground, even like the parking lot. You can go ahead and here and upgrade your parking lot. It's an entire football universe in your pocket if you guys do you can check out this new penalty clash feature you're also competing for rewards and competing for your country as well because each nationality will show up on the leaderboard so if wherever you're from you need to show out for this game mode to take your country to the top literally so become the manager become the penalty taker become the goalkeeper own a football team do it all with top 11 link in the description and comment what country you guys are from if you think you can take them to the top in top 11. okay back to the video we are now choosing a team from group a from group b from group c and group d to manage so i'm allowed to choose any team here let's choose these wisely i feel like this i should a logical person would take spain am i logical or am i dumb okay i am dumb but i'm gonna be logical here and, and, and take the favorites in spain out of all the groups of death i think group b is the toughest i feel like i should go for england because i kind of i kind of wanted to come home in this simulation i'm gonna do it england i'm backing you guys today group c argentina mexico brazil Poland. I'm lucky looking at this group and thinking to myself, Mexico and Poland, do they belong in here? Yo, Uruguay's higher rated. What am I doing? Okay, I gotta swap Mexico out, I think. Dude, Switzerland's also higher rated than Poland. What am I, what am I doing here, boys? I'm messing up these groups of death. We're going in this for group C. I, I feel like I have to do Brazil. I've not yet controlled them yet in the simulations. We're going with Brazil and then group D. I feel like a lot of my videos recently have been about Messi and Ronaldo, and I don't want to make this one about Messi and Ronaldo. So, <sighs> France is the obvious one. You know what? Should I try to take a smaller country it's not really that small serbia are good i'm gonna go for serbia i'm gonna take an underdog in group d we have our four teams that we are controlling as their manager now let's see if we can win the world cup it is now time for our world cup to begin and we're starting with spain let's check this starting 11.
11 out. Right, boys, here it is. Have EA still not added the official teams yet? Come on, EA, what's going on here? This isn't even the official Spain World Cup team. With that being said, I'm going to keep the starting 11 the way it is, except I put Moreno in at striker. Looking good, Spain. And we'll start by simulating their first game against the Netherlands. This is a tough one. I mean, every game is going to be tough, right? But it is a 1 0 with the Spain. Just imagine these groups existed in real life. Moving on to England. Come on, boys. I'm backing you guys today, England. The only reason I'm doing it is because you're not in the same group as the USA anymore. And your team is looking very good for FIFA standards, at least. So Chilwell's in here. We know he's not made it to the World Cup. What's going on, EA? Come on. What, can, we, can we get some updated teams? This is so unrealistic. Lingard's in the team, bro. Tamori, too. How do you guys from England feel? I, I know Tamori was supposed to be in the team and got cut like last minute. I don't know what happened. Why did Tamori not get selected? Instead, you got this man, Harry Maguire. I know this probably won't be your official starting 11 for the World Cup, but it is my official starting 11. We just got the highest rated players in. I have a feeling England aren't going to make it out. Look at it. They're starting with Germany. This is the toughest group of them all. Oh, man, England. Why did I give England the toughest group? All right, Brazil, by far the highest rated team in this World Cup. Bro, they're so good. Okay, I don't even know. Who is starting for this team? Like a low key. We're going to throw our boy Richarlson up front. I think that's how they're going to do it. Marquinhos, Thiago Silva. Is Alexandro starting? He's at left back, huh? I guess so. Anthony, I, he's not even making the bench with this team. That's how high rated some of these players are, man. Brazil's so stacked. Again, probably will not be the starting 11 that happens in real life with this team, but for me, I'm keeping it like this. Oh, and we're already starting with this. Like, one of the biggest rivalry matches in world football. Argentina versus Brazil. Here we go. Brazil 4-1. Oh my god, Messi. You've just been embarrassed and you've missed a pen. And our final squad, Serbia. One of the most underrated teams at this World Cup, in my opinion. We got Mitro. We got Vlahovic. 85-rated Kostic. This team could do bits at the World Cup this year, honestly. But in our World Cup, let's see if they can just make it out of the group. I think they've gotten the easiest group so far. Serbia up 1-0. We've now officially played one match with each of our teams and so far man everyone but england has, has done well of course bro england is the only team that lost let's speed through the rest of the group stage bain senegal okay three three yo senegal mane gets a late goal actually mane gets a goal in the 68th minute and then pedri and gerard moreno kind of stole the point there still a chance spain could get grouped if they lose their final game to croatia up next england belgium this is pretty much a must win from england two two yo it, i don't know i don't know could they make it out they still can with a win versus italy and if germany wins england there's still hope this would be a massive upset if serbia can beat portugal okay yo two two we'll take it i can't believe serbia are atop that group and it looks like ronaldo may not make it out i told you guys i picked serbia for a reason let's go we got our groups one match remaining and <laughs> look at these bro look at these groups down here yo the us hey they're they're top right now oh wait did we not play brazil second game am i dumb this is their second game okay three nil yeah that was their second yes okay so brazil are pretty much guaranteed to go through now we go into the final games of the group stage spain croatia i feel like they need a point here right <gasps> am i right have spain been grouped hold on hold on no oh my god in the final game spain get grouped what am i witnessing how has that just happened spain gone we only have three teams remaining and now we we need england we need a result from england here oh england italy oh it's the matchup the rematch oh i don't i don't know i don't know about this i don't know if i like this oh. that my friends is two teams eliminated what is happening serbia we need a result here you've done so well so far can we please get a result? 2-1. Is this going to be three teams grouped? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Three teams grouped, and two of them had four points. Our only team left is Brazil, who still could get grouped if they lose this game. The video might... Stop it. Don't play with me like this. Okay. At least we have Brazil. They almost got grouped, too. Look at that. Six points, six points, and six points. This is what happens when you create this many groups of death. It is very hard for your team to make it out. So here's who survived the groups of death. Would you have predicted this? Croatia and Senegal. I feel like they were least favorited, and they both go through. Germany and Italy, bro. That's disrespect. Italy not even at the World Cup, and they go out of this group of death. Okay, Group C is the only one that didn't really surprise anyone because it's Brazil and Argentina. I would say Group D is a shocker, too. Obviously, France, we, we would have expected them, but Portugal bottom. And then these other groups. Okay, Poland, USA. <laughs> Cameroon, Canada. Imagine one of these teams win. That would just throw this whole video off. South Korea, Ghana. 
and then Australia, Saudi Arabia. It's time for the knockout stages, Brazil. I need you guys here. So this is how it works. It's looking like on the left side of the bracket is gonna be all of the group of death team. And then the right side are, it, it's just everyone else. Round of 16, it is an easy draw compared to everyone else. Denmark is one of the worst nations in the groups of death. It's not saying they're not good because they are. And Brazil barely survived. We almost just ended the video there. And here's a better visual for you to see which teams are left, who will be playing each other. I'm so interested to see who comes out of the right side of the group because we've not really paid attention to them the entire video. We're basically only focusing on the left side. But Croatia has been in Italy, so Italy is gone. Germany, Senegal, France, Argentina. To see if Brazil, our only remaining team, can get to the semifinal. I don't have faith in them. Oh, they're throwing pens again. Why is Brazil making this so freaking dramatic? Look at this penalty shootout as well. Look at this. Look at how many misses. Ready? Look how long this penalty shootout goes on. Dude, someone needs to teach these guys how to take pens. <laughs> I wish we could have watched that happen. So Brazil marches on in Argentina. Oh my God. We started with four groups of death in the teams that have made it out are Brazil and Argentina, and they were in the same group as well. So with these groups of death, this is technically like the winner of the video here. And then the final, which is just like icing on the cake. It is Brazil. Dude, they're so good. It's honestly, they're, they're a cheat code. Not even Messi can stop them. And they will be playing. Is it Poland? Imagine Poland or Australia win this video. It is going to be Poland. Lewandowski in the final. He technically wasn't in a group of death. I'm already, I'm already saying Brazil won the video, but let's see if they can truly win the World Cup. Here it is. For the video, Lewa. Of course, they almost <laughs> took it to penalties again but there it is with groups of death at the world cup brazil still prevails i think it just goes to prove how good they really are brazil are champions officially and that is gonna do it for today's video make sure you guys go download top 11 and then also watch this other world cup video right here comment which video i should do next we're out peace